All right, y'all. Welcome to the mock draft. So I said I would do this yesterday. This is Kid Taj NBA, and the draft is tonight. And um, yeah, this is gonna be fucking sick. Um, yeah, there's actually a problem here. Why the hell? Okay, whatever. So it says that Boston has a number one pick. We all know they don't. Um, and this is actually gonna be really hard because of. I don't know what trades are going to happen because there's a ton of speculation about Kristaps Porzingis and Phil Jackson. Like, right, we've heard all that about Kristaps Porzingis. Some, like, some of the stuff about him being traded for the, maybe the number four pick. Jimmy Butler's name being thrown around for those, for picks number four or three or seven, I think. Um, but we're going to just assume, and it kind of sucks to do this, but we're going to assume just for the sake of, you know, the mock draft that these trades aren't going down, at least not yet, or maybe like these teams will pick and then maybe they can trade the players. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, but I'm gonna go through my first, I'll probably do 15, I might do 30, I don't know, I don't know enough about 30 players, so that would be tough. But we're gonna start off with Philly. This says Philly, okay? Um, let me just let's see if we can correct this. <laughs> um uh, Philly, yeah, all right, all right, all right, there we go, um, and then we'll make this say Boston, sorry, I can't do the logos, but yeah, we got it, Philly pick, um, we're gonna go with Markel Fultz to Philly, not Boston, Philly, um, let's see, and then, yeah, so Markel Fultz to Boston, this is very self-explanatory, I think Markel Fultz, not Boston, fuck, Markel Fultz to Philly, we all know this is going to happen, right? I mean, this has been announced, right? I mean, we know Marco Volt's going to Philly, so that's my first pick. The LA Lakers, while I do disagree with this, I don't think that they should take Lonzo Ball. I think they're going to take Lonzo Ball. I think they're in love with Lonzo Ball and just the concept. I mean, that's why they traded Russell away, isn't it? So they can, you know, get Lonzo Ball in there without D'Angelo Russell. They don't want to keep both of them. They also you know, wanted to unload that Mozgov contract, but it does clear space for him. It gives him, you know, a more open because a lot of people thought that D'Angelo Russell would be the point guard of the future. And then some people were not sure if he was a point guard or shooting guard. Um, just getting him out of there is probably better for Lonzo Ball's situation. Now, for Boston... This was very interesting because I think we all assumed that Josh Jackson was a top three caliber pick, um, but I, I don't know at this point. I mean, we've heard a lot about Jason Tatum going to Boston, and while if I was Boston, you know, I wouldn't have traded away that first pick in the first place because I don't really like Jason Tatum, honestly, as a prospect. I don't think he's worth taking in the top three. It doesn't make sense for Boston to take Josh Jackson because they already have Jalen Brown on their roster. They picked him last year. They, sh they they went out of their way to pick him last year. And Jason Tatum, I mean, Josh Jackson's basically a mirror image of of um, of um Jalen Brown. So I'm going to say Jason Tatum gets picked third to Boston, not to Philly. Um, Let's see. Phoenix Suns. So this, this pick was under a lot of, like, we weren't sure. Um you know, what was going on with this pick, because this might go to the New York Knicks. I don't think it's going to. I think Phil is just playing around. I really don't think Przingis is going to get traded. If he does, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Um, but for Phoenix, I think Josh Jackson is the best bet here, and I think he's going to get picked fourth, just because of the fact that Josh Jackson seems to be the best player available at this point. Um, and it just, it just makes sense for him to go fourth on that Phoenix Suns team where you have Devin Booker established, you can get another, you know, potential star in Josh Jackson, the best player available here. Now, Sacramento at number five, we know Sacramento likes to screw things up, so don't be surprised if they take Jonathan Isaac or like one of these big men. They love taking big men. Um, I say Jonathan Isaac because they don't really need, they need a point guard. That's what they need. So I think out of these two guys, I think Darren Fox is, is the clear best option. I think Darren Fox, I think the Lakers should pick Darren Fox, honestly, or even, or even Josh Jackson. Um, even though they didn't like him at his workout, I think that Josh Jackson and Aaron Fox are the two guys that you should be taking top three, um, along with Fultz. So, you know, that's, that's, that's what I think. Um, that's very interesting. The Orlando Magic, um, when you look at them, they do have Alfred Payton already, a point guard. I think they like Evan Fournier. Nikola Vucevic is always in trade rumors. They got that guy, his own. They haven't really, not a lot of their young guys have really worked out recently. So when I look at who's left, you know, we see options like Jonathan Isaac, Dennis Smith, 
Malik Monk. I don't see a point guard getting taken. Malik Monk is definitely an option here for Orlando. Um, I think I would... It's so hard. I think I might go with Jonathan Isaac here. Yeah, I think I'll do that um, for Orlando. Um, he's really good. I think he's definitely cap- I think he's definitely qualified to be, you know, a top six pick. Um, Minnesota. Hmm. Minnesota, they've get, they're they pretty filled out. Um, if you know me, you know I don't like Andrew Wiggins. So if I was Minnesota, I'd just trade Wiggins and, um, you know, get a new small forward. <laughs> um, but, you know, what is the situation with Ricky Rubio? Um, they like Zach Levine and Carl Anthony Towns. But what do they need? I think uh, Laurie Market is really intriguing here because he's a stretch big that can play alongside Cat, maybe. Um, other guys I look at here, um, obviously Dennis Smith and Malik Monk are two prime options. I won't go Malik Monk just for the sake of, you know, you have Zach Levine already. Um, but if you pick Dennis Smith, that's kind of overriding, you know, you got Chris Dunn. Um, so I think, yeah, I think they're going to pick, I think I'm going to go with a weird one. Laurie Markin, I think he's going seven. Now, the New York Knicks, yeah, we're thinking they might trade up. Um, this guy, Frank, ooh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Ntilikina, Ntilikina. Ah, man, I hope I did that at least somewhat right. Um, that guy, they were looking at him earlier in mock drafts, or like, I don't know if they were looking, I think they were actually looking at him maybe, but he, he was in mock drafts. Um, at, at eight for New York, but if Dennis Smith's still available here, I think you got to pick Dennis Smith. I don't know though. It's, it's kind of tough. I, you know what, you know what, for the sake of, of, of Phil Jackson, I'm going to go this guy because I feel like they're going to screw this up. I feel like I, and, and even though this guy might be pretty good, I, I don't think this guy, I'm pretty sure of what I've heard about him, is that he's like a 3 and D guy, he'll be solid in the NBA, but he doesn't have star potential, he has, his downside is, is high, but his upside is low, you guys know what I'm saying, so he's a low risk, low reward type rookie, but he's already pretty good, um, now for Dallas, Dennis Smith, I think is is the easy answer here. This the point guard is easily the most needed position for the Dallas Mavericks. Dennis Smith is the best best prospect still on board at this point. Um, Sacramento Kings, they're picking again, and Zach Collins is available. So you, they might be like, oh well, there's a center available, so we gotta take the center. Um, Malik Monk obviously is still available. I'm trying to think of of who's on that Sacramento team right now. Who did they pick last year? They picked Cauley Stein, didn't they? No, wait, he wasn't a rookie. Oh, they oh they have Buddy Heald, though. They have Buddy Heald and they have Ben McLemore, who I don't think is good at all. But I think they're going to pick a big man just for the sake of picking a big man. So I think they're going to go Zach Collins for 10. Um, Charlotte Hornets. Ooh, Charlotte got, got the 11th pick? Wow, okay. Um, we are, already know they've got Kemba Walker there. They just traded for Dwight Howard. They got Batum. Um... I think Malik Monk's a good pick for Charlotte. I think they're taking him 11. Malik Monk, he kind of slid down my draft board, didn't he? Because most people would have him going in like top eight. Um, I'm going to go 11 to Charlotte in this thing. Um, 12th pick, Detroit Pistons. Hmm. Well, we did have a lot of trade rumors with Reggie Jackson and, and Andre Drummond last season. Um, I don't know if Reggie Jackson's still like... Do they really, do they, you know, do they want him over there? Um, Because they could go with a point guard. I don't know a lot about this Donovan Mitchell guy. I know about Harry Giles, but I don't think he's going this early at all. Luke Kennard, I don't think he should go this early. Um, Are there guys over here that would have gone? Or like, see, this is, this is, now we're getting to the part where I'm just like, I don't know anything about a lot of these. I know about Giles. I know about Kennard. I know about Adebayo. Um... TJ Leaf, Justin Jackson, Tyler Lydon, Josh Hart, Caleb Swanigan, or Swanigan, whatever, Frank Mason. But I feel like there's more prospects. Man, this could just be like a top 10 mock, top 11 mock draft. Um, oh, see, I'm feeling really, I don't know about this. Um, this dude's a small forward. But who do the Pistons need, really? That's what I'm wondering, because KCP, I think, is solid. I think you should keep him at that shooting guard spot. Um, they, like, 
If Tobias Harris, Mar Marcus Morris, something isn't working though. Like something, something's not working with that with that core. They gotta they gotta do something about that. Um, I don't know, man. This is this is really tough. I think. Jesus Christ. Um, let's just say they go with Giles, just for fuck it. Like <laughs> they could, they have him. Um, Nuggets. Uh, do they have a shooting guard in Denver? No, uh, they got Murray. They they and Murray and Beasley. They got some young shooting guards. Uh, let's go with this dude, small forward. Um, the Heat. Ooh, the Heat. Okay, so what do the Heat need really though? Like a power forward, right? I don't know enough about these guys, though. I think Jared Allen's going high, so let's just do that. I, I don't know enough right now. I don't. I'm just gonna go to 15. Like, fuck this. Um, Portland. <laughs> um, no one in the backcourt. Oh, you obviously need a big man. John Collins. Let's just say this guy. All right, we'll submit that. Halfway through. <laughs> so what happened with this um chad ford are these updated are these actually updated i don't know they all have josh jackson going third to the sixers even though the six i feel like this is just really outdated um donovan mitchell luke Kennard. damn they had luke Kennard going so early i don't think luke Kennard is gonna is gonna go there but we all had Okay, we all had, fr we both had Frank, Dennis Smith, everyone had Dennis Smith going 9, Zach Collins going 10, Lloyd Marketing going 7, John Isaac going 6, Fox going 5, damn, so we, we agreed on hella shit here, um, and Monk going 11 here, okay, so I think I did pretty well, let me know what you guys think, um, drives tonight, I don't know when I'm gonna get the drive reaction video since I'm busy tomorrow, but I might make it tonight, stay tuned, I'm out, thanks for watching y'all.